We are with Nora Puyan, the author of the new book, My Organic Life, and also the chef owner of Nora's, the first organic restaurant in America. Thank you so much for being here to talk about your book today. Oh, thank you, thank you for having me. So you are obviously a pioneer in the field of organic cooking, and your restaurant in DC has been an institution for so many years. Why did you feel it was the time now to write a memoir? Well, you know, actually it was not my idea. <laughs> it was an agent who came to me and she felt, so nowadays most uh, people, uh, you know, they are so much younger and they have no idea how difficult it was to, to be organic, you know, in the 70s and in the 80s, you know. Right, and I think for a lot of people, you know, I was surprised to read just the number of, you know, 1999 was the year that your restaurant mm. was named as the first organic restaurant in America. And I think most people would look at that and say, you know, it took that long because mm -hmm. now we take it for granted. But, you know, talk to me a little bit about the journey of, you know, not only opening your restaurant, but coming to the U.S., you know, sort of recognizing that the produce wasn't there and how you made that shift over many years. I, as your son, I grew up in Austria. I grew up with a very, uh, a, you know, health conscientious family. And I have to tell you, my father and my grandmother always said, you know, no, the most important thing is your health. Mm. And you better take care of it because no money in the world can buy it for you. But then I came to this country and I realized uh, how people here really didn't take care of their health. And this is just your story of walking into the supermarket and saying, you know, the produce section is this big yeah. and the package section is I huge. I know, I know, <laughs> I know. And the produce had, you know, iceberg lettuce, that was the lettuce. And the bread, wonder bread was the bread through chance. I found out about the agricultural practices in this country by talking with a farmer and finding out that they used hormones and antibiotics and gross, uh, you know, gross promoting hormones and that that uh, I just uh, uh, couldn't believe it and th that's when I looked deeper into how the food is grown and raised. That really started me on going out in the countryside and finding farmers and talking with them and finding more naturally you know, the word organic didn't exist then. Right. Didn't exist then. And so, uh, you know, that led to, uh, uh, we entertained a lot and my friends asked me to help them and that led to a cooking class and cooking school. And uh, one of my students asked me to open a restaurant. One year later in 1979, we opened Restaurant Noah. And from the beginning on, I said, I want to do it as natural as possible. Mm -hmm. And you know, now it seems like, you know, farm to table and you know, right. it's, so, it's so common. Well, if you say like, oh, you know, you looked it up in the yellow pages and <laughs> yeah. just started calling people. I mean, yeah. how, you know, and how has it shifted for you? Obviously, there's been a huge movement in this country of which you are a leader. Mm -hmm. But when you now think back to that time, I mean, how do you describe it to people who now take for granted that, you know, you can find organic anywhere? You had to be crazy. <laughs> you had to be, I was just very passionate. I really, really, truly believe that whatever you put in your body, that's how you feel. I wanted to do the restaurant to tell people, look, you can eat in a very healthful way and it's not a special diet and it's not right. complicated. You have just to read the labels and find out where your food comes from. Where do you think we still have to go in terms of eating healthily in this country? Because obviously there have been huge strides, but we're still not quite there. What do you think is next? I say it's not ne I think it all comes back to really to education. Mm -hmm. I, I can't tell you how often I'm interviewed or I talk with people and they say, oh, I had no idea. Oh, I had no idea. You know, I had no idea that the fish is nearly decimated. Oh, I had no idea that, mm -hmm. You know, we have, uh, uh, you know, that there is uh, all these, there's still all these chemicals. And I thought natural, I thought that if I go to a store like Whole Foods, everything is organic or, or you know, I, I, I think to educate people, to tell them really. And, you know, like just yesterday, uh, somebody said, oh, I thought everything on the farmer's market or when a restaurant says farm to table, it means that it's organic. Right. And you know, I have to tell them, no, I, I'm certified and there are only a handful in the whole country. Yeah. And, uh, and, and I, uh, I have to prove that at least 95%, whatever comes into the restaurant, comes from certified organic sources. You know, I'm inspected by the USDA <laughs> every year and they check on my invoices and the certificates and everything. So I, I really go, the whole nine yards right. because I feel that you uh, 
you do it or you don't do it and if you do it if people always tell me it's so much more expensive how can I do it I say start incorporating things mm. you know start you know if you love to have milk for instance you know buy only organic milk mm. and then you know a couple of weeks later incorporate only organic lettuce if that's what it right. is and so you just add things and then you know and you will see the difference so if you want so, to pick up the book, it is called My Organic Life. We're here with Mara Puyan. Thank you so much for being here. Well, thank you so much. And thanks for reading the book so carefully. Anytime. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. Thank you.